Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. Today I'll be showing you how to use uh, incognito alternative for atmosphere custom firmware on your Nintendo Switch. This is the only method that I know that works on the Mariko Nintendo Switch. This works on all switches, but this is the only one that works on the Mariko Nintendo Switch. You can't use um, incognito RCM or incognito on it. You used to be able to do it. I've done it before, but I heard that users are breaking their switch when they do it. But I think if you have one of the Mariko Nintendo Switch that came with 9.0 or something, it should be fine. But I think they completely block the, block the app from working. Whatever, I'm not gonna ramble on anymore. Um, for this process, you should already have Atmosphere on your SD card if you're doing this. So I shouldn't be showing you how to get it on your SD card if you don't know how to. I have other videos on my playlist to show you how to get that done. But whatever. So what you're going to do is navigate to your Atmosphere folder. Um, go to Config Templates. And you're going to copy Exosphere. Copy, paste it directly to the root of your SD card right here where everything else is. If you don't know what your root of your SD card is, this is the root of your SD card. So you're going to open it up and you're going to simply set this to one, set this to one and this to one. Basically you're done. That's how easy it is. And hit save. The reason why this method isn't really that safe in my opinion it is safe for me to use it but for other users i'm not sure because a lot of people delete stuff off their switch and if you accidentally delete this file then your switch is exposed again and you will get banned so that's the reason why i'm not sure with incognito it completely just erase it so there's no mistake with that the downside with that is some users erase it and then erase the backup and then they don't have a way of restoring it so their switch is basically permanently banned. So I really don't know, it's really up to you which method is safer, safer for you. If you're going to use this method, I suggest you use it along with 90DNS, that's my opinion. It's up to you what you want to do. But sorry for the ranting, um, simplest to check. Let's go over to Nintendo Switch and show you how this works. Okay, as you can see, I'm back on the Switch. I've enabled it for both the SysNAD and the EMU MMC because some users I know accidentally boot into their EMU MMC, no, their SysNAD with custom firmware sometimes. So it's best to just have it on. If you want to use your custom firmware on your SysNAD, on your, yeah, SysNAD, just put it back to zero and you should be able to. But just be careful with banning your switch. So just going to hit my emu MMC. Okay. So I'll simply navigate to settings. Scroll down. And then where is it? System information. There you go. It's all zeros. That's all you know, it's done. So now you can connect your Wi-Fi and well, don't have to worry about getting banned, but just keep in mind, nothing is ever 100% safe. So that's something that you need to keep in mind and be cautious of what you're doing online. Anyway guys, that's it for this video. Really hope it helped and thanks for watching.